But one thing I want to particularly draw your attention to is the edge contrast sensitivity loss in depth perception. The reason is safety is more important than convenience. In particular, a loss of edge contrast sensitivity and depth perception when looking down through the bifocal, whether you want to call it multifocals, trifocals, or progressives, um, the loss of edge contrast sensitivity and depth perception increases the risk of falling. In fact, bifocal glasses increases the risk of falling more than 2.3 fold and greater than one in three falls in the elderly can be attributed to bifocal or multifocal glasses. Now, if you don't think falls is a big deal, one in four adults fall every year. So there's an adult who fell. At age 70, it's one in two adults. There's another one who falls. And over half of these falls uh, can result in injury, 10 to 15% of which can be quite severe. And if one in three of these falls are attributed to multifocal glasses, then that's a big deal. Every second of every day, an elderly American falls. Every 11 seconds, there's an ER visit due to a fall. And every 19 minutes, there's a death due to a fall. And again, greater than one in three of these falls are attributed to bifocal or multifocal glasses, which means every three seconds, an American falls because of their bifocals. Every 30 seconds, there's an ER visit, and every hour, there's a death due to a fall related to bifocal or multifocal glasses. In 2014, that was 29 million falls, resulting in 2.8 million ER visits, 800,000 hospitalizations, and greater than 27,000 deaths. Compare that to breast cancer and prostate cancer, there's more elderly Americans dying from falls than from either one of those diseases. And again, if greater than one in three falls are attributed to multifocal glasses, that's about 10 million falls due to bifocal glasses, a million ER visits, greater than a quarter million hospitalizations, and around 10,000 deaths related to bifocal or multifocal glasses. And for those who aren't injured, a third of them develop a post-fall anxiety syndrome that includes functional decline, depression, and just general lower quality of life. So what's the total cost of all these fall injuries? In 2014, it was not 31,000, it was not 31 million, it was $31 billion to the US healthcare system. It's expected to approach 70 billion by this year. And just to put in comparison, the whole US surgical ophthalmology industry a few years ago was only $6.3 billion. And if one in three falls are attributable to multifocal glasses, that's $10 billion of economic impact to our healthcare system because of falls. Interestingly, Dr. Bo Lee presented a paper at ASCRS of last year looking at the cost-effective analysis of presbyopia correcting lenses in the U.S. So theoretically, he looked at the current implantation rate and adoption of presbyopia correcting lenses compared to a theoretical rate when all patients have it. And he looked at the relative uh, need for bifocal glasses, the relative fall risk, and the admission to ERs and hospitals and the cost of that. And basically did a little comparison. And he found that if we implanted presbyopia correction in everyone, we would save about $14.3 billion in healthcare costs related to falls. Now he didn't even look at rehab or long-term care costs in this particular analysis. So again, this was a theoretical analysis, but it shows potentially huge differences in healthcare costs and that's morbidity and mortality to our patients um, by correcting their presbyopia surgically. Now, the good news is, of course, with regards to falls, is we can prevent falls. Cataract surgery is known to reduce the fall risk uh, by a third, so there's a patient who didn't fall, and replacing bifocal glasses with single vision glasses actually can reduce the fall risk as well, up to 40%. So we do know both ways with bifocal glasses, increases falls, removing them can reduce the fall risk. So again, if we recognize the risk of bifocal glasses, we know that for many patients, the benefits of refractive cat cataract surgery can far outweigh the risks, particularly with using bifocal glasses. Now, if you've never heard of this before or haven't thought about it this way, realize that when a patient falls, who takes care of them? It's not us, not the ophthalmologists, uh, not the eye surgeons uh, or optometrists. They, they go to the, the emergency room, the hospital, or maybe the funeral home. And just because we don't see the consequences of the falls in our practices, they definitely do happen. And the good news is by offering refractive cataract surgery, by correcting presbyopia, potentially we could prevent these falls um, and reduce the morbidity and mortality to our patients. So then the question becomes, should we implant multifocals EDOS, maybe trifocal eyeballs in all of our cataract patients? And the answer is of course not. But we should consider if somebody uh, wants minimal glasses, we could do refractive uh, and presbyopia correction. If somebody wants to just wear reading glasses, we can do refractive correction, fixing their astigmatism. Now, interestingly, if somebody wants uh, presbyopia correction only and just wear distance glasses, we can put a presbyopia correcting lens and correct any residual refractive error uh, with glasses. You know, sometimes we, we spend so much try time trying to nail the refractive error, correcting astigmatism, and that's great, but if they don't mind wearing just single vision glasses, we will give them the safety 
uh, of not having to wear bifocal glasses. And finally, if we don't correct the refractive or presbyopic error, um, they will need glasses for distance and near, but instead of giving them bifocals, thinking about giving them a se separate pair of glasses uh, to wear less convenient, but probably better with safety. So again, when we're asking the question of why refractive cataract surgery, um, I say, hey, why did I do this for my mom? And what did I do? I did put in refractive IOLs, including the Techno Symphony Torque Lens for my mom, and I also did it for my mother-in-law. And I'll leave it to you to decide which one of those uh, was riskier for me. So thanks again uh, for thinking about why refractive cataract surgery, and I look forward to hearing the rest of the talks in this meeting. Thanks.